this is going to be an honest confession maybe or else you can say 20 year old student who feels stuck in his life honestly it's it's been an year full of ups and downs at a point in 2024 while i was building the website of my agency i hit my lowest point because i realized it's 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 like a new world opening in front of you and you're getting paid for this and that was mind blowing being a college student you never really try to get out of your bubble just stay in your bubble fourth year then placements then job and then whatever engineering is a whole different level of game it's surprisingly simple and at the same time unimaginably hard i was very scared between choosing content creation and coding and i thought i could do both and i tried doing both but never really happened coding was just feeling like pointless thing at that point of time because Okay, anyways, let's start the video. It's on, right? Yes, here we go. Hi, my name is Akash and I'm a 20-year-old engineering student currently pursuing my B.Tech and I'm in third year of my engineering. And at the same time, I have a lot of interests. I have a lot of things that I love to explore around. And this is going to be an honest confession maybe or else you can say Dil ki baat of a... 20 year old student who feels stuck in his life maybe because of college environment or else maybe because the world is changing so fast and you don't know what you want in your life but yeah this is going to be real me and we are going to be just you know free flowingly think about all the things that i have done so far and how i'm thinking about my future maybe this will help some of you guys or maybe if you're someone looking from the future do let me know how I am doing in my life right now. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. Engineering. Engineering is a whole different level of game. It's surprisingly simple and at the same time unimaginably hard. If you're a college student, then you might understand what I'm going through right now. So what I'm trying to say is, look, first year, second year and now finally I am going to enter third year of my engineering call exam but still i'm making this video because i just don't care all of those exams you can one day bat i'll study morning you can pass those exams anyways but the point is the four years of engineering is all about experimentation and learning new things exploring and i did learn a lot of things i did explore a lot of things i went to hackathons I created vlogs, if you see the older videos of this channel. I, I I joined a lot of online courses. I was obsessed with coding in my first year. Actually, I was, to be very honest, this, this thing got less over the time. How it became less, I'll tell you in, in a while. But I was very scared between choosing content creation and coding. And I thought I could do both and I tried doing both but never really happened. Coding was just a feeling like pointless thing at that point of time because if you if you look at me as a person, I am very very ambitious. I, I genuinely want to build very big businesses. I want to help a lot of people. I'm just ambitious in general so that is me. And coding, when I started to code, that is exactly when ChatGPT got launched I guess in November 2022-ish. And that is when I was peaks at my coding career. I'm, I'm not saying I'm never going to code again, but it was just that phase where I was obsessed with coding. And then there I realized ChatGPT and AI can do all those coding stuff. And I just simply started realizing it doesn't matter. What matters is content and distribution, all this sort of stuff. Building a real audience, unlocking opportunities to content. And that is what really matters right now. So I understood that. So that is how my first year went. Hackathons. I was in hostel, college hostel, so I didn't really get time to create much content, but I still bunked my classes to create content and I got around decent 7.8-ish CGPA and it was okay. But then came second year and at this point I was convinced that I have to start living separately, not in a hostel, taking a room by rent. And that, at that point of time, I took a room for rent with one of my friend in the first, it was around 2-1 two, two, two one, I guess, 2-1 which is maybe exactly 2020, 2023 September I moved into my own room with one of my friends 
and i was convinced like i literally convinced i used to con- call my parents every single day and say daddy look i want to move out take my own room and live on my own even if i didn't know how to cook i literally uh, usse pehle na ko literally didn't even know how to cook dal or basically boil i didn't even knew how to boil eggs that is on the name of cooking i just know how to boil water that's it that is all i know but i still wanted to move out of that hostel because the environment matters a lot and i still moved out and fortunately one of my friend wanted to come to college was joining college and we figured out that we could stay together and it was great in the beginning but you know i was obsessed with content creation and he had his own plans so it was a small room where the energies get exchanged and you know you don't really vibe with a person after a point so things didn't really go well i was i was learning video editing at that point of tarun speaks course and i made a video on that as well but i was just obsessed with video editing at that point and content creation and i i literally don't even know what it did, what i was about thinking about at that point of time but i just knew that this is the right thing to do because video editing will improve my content creation skills which is very important for me to bec- become a better content creator and that is why i learned video editing and yeah i was obsessed with video editing and then by the end of 21 and the starting of 2024 this is where things get really really interesting i decided I I I challenged and promised myself that I am at least going to earn one single rupee through video editing in first two weeks of January, and that is because I wanted to prove to myself that I can live on my own, earn on my own. Because you know, I feel as long as you are dependent on your parents' money, you can never really enjoy your fruits of freedom. You can never really understand what you truly want in your life. Because look, money. earning real world money is a whole different game and being a college student you never really try to get out of your bubble you just stay in your bubble fourth year tak then placements then job and then whatever and i just felt that was not the path for me and i still feel it and what i knew was that i wanted to try all these options and video editing was an obvious thing in front of me and so i picked and that for earning my first money and i i do something called as the freedom series on instagram where i document my whole journey of what's happening in my life and how i'm overcoming those challenges all my learnings if you're interested in those you can follow me on instagram you can you can watch the whole series where i explain how i do what i do but the main point i dm'd a lot of clients and made a lot of telegram groups of editors in in search of getting that first paying client and finally i got my first paying client and he paid me 301 rupees i made a video upon that how i started earning in college and it it was good and then i understood i can really actually make money through video editing and that is how i earned my first income and then from there i started getting another client it's 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 like a new world opening in front of you and you're getting paid for this and that was mind blowing and i remember with that first 2000 well income i gave chota sa party to my friends and when i went back home i i took my parents to a movie that's that's one of the proud moments i could cherish but yeah i i bought a small gift for my mom and i gave that money back to my dad to just tell them ki see this is something very small thing that i have started and i'm enjoying it and i'm started to make some money out of it all slowly uh, things started picking up from there i started working with much better clients at the same time after getting this couple of clients after a point you get back to zero clients and that is where i use my content creation skills and made videos on youtube and i made videos on instagram and i posted lot of linkedin content i remember posting content on linkedin 30 to 40 days straight like i would wake up do a linkedin post and i go i'd go to college like i would write linkedin posts in my library while the teachers are teaching in the classroom while i'm sitting in the auto and while traveling to college i i i just obsessed over linkedin for a month straight through that i applied linkedin jobs and i got one of a video editing role in a very very good business owners youtube channel and i edited few videos two videos for him i did well there and uh, that is when i realized video editing has a really big potential it's just the beginning of this industry in india 
and that is why i understood the potential of video editing but one thing that i lacked at that point of time was i was lacking my content creation like to be honest i like doing this content creation thing so i'm doing this since i was in class 8th and i still like doing this so just editing videos was for clients was not enough for me and that is how i started you know creating content once again and then i realized i want to do more of content creation and that is when i dec- decided i can automate this video editing thing by creating a team and agency for myself so that i can focus more on content creation and i can delegate the editing to the editors and editing is a very unorganized sector you can say because editors get paid very less and clients don't trust the editors because editors get paid less and this is a whole cycle that gets repeated and that is where i found a gap clients used to reach out to me through instagram because they like my content and editing and i started editing videos for the clients as well at this point i was good with video editing but i wanted to create content so i wanted to take this as a challenge to automate my editing still earn from it and create content for my own and that is when i saw this challenge from ankur wariko 30 days earning 100 dollars something challenge and i participated in, in that and gave myself a target of earning my first 1000 dollars in just 30 days and that was only possible for me through video editing agency so in that month only august month maybe july ending to august in between i started i started reaching out to all my video editing friends in the tarun speaks up cohort i created a group i created an agency and i sort of started reaching out to clients i created the whole website of ekagra media that is the name of our agency on my own with my video editor friends with my team and actually the while doing all these things the exams were going on the sem exams of 22 because i didn't wanted to waste my time again in college i i thought why not i start my own business while i am doing this and that is how i started uh, my own video editing agency and in the august month itself i got my first client through instagram dms A client reached out to me actually he wanted to get his videos edited for his youtube and i had a great team for that and we started doing it the videos were performing really well we also offer thumbnail services so that whole thing came as a package and yeah the agency side things started picking up and once that thing started picking up the whole content creation was also starting to you know sort of started picking up so i was traveling in both the boats of business and content creation and i like both of them and you could see at this point in august september i moved out to a new house this space this is this is like a very good and chill calm vibe room as you can see i moved out from the older room because i found a new friend whose goals align with me i started working out with him doing gym and one thing i realized from all this thing is like you start taking something very very seriously once you change your environment like i and my friend compete in the gym and that is what motivates me to do even more because i can literally see the difference from what was from the day 1 to day 70 maybe right now you can follow those series on instagram and i'm learning a lot about gym about your body about your sleep your habits and this thing is really helping me and i'm going to continue doing this in the near future as well because i like I, I, i'm just falling in love with that process honestly it's it's been an year full of ups and downs at a point in 2024 while i was building the website of my agency i hit my lowest point because i realized i i started asking myself question this question why am i working so hard i mean like i was staying alone in a room with no one around me i was cooking my own food i didn't even cook much i was living on my own i was writing those exams i felt pointless and after all, after doing all these things i felt empty and that is when i realized you are not important as much as you think you are focus on providing the value delivering the value to the people around you and that is when you will get value from there and the quote is give more than you want that is the quote 
that I followed and I'm still following that. I'll continue to follow. And finally, here we are. The year 2024 is about to end and I did what I could. I have a lot of, I won't say regrets. I don't believe in regrets, but I did everything that I could. But I, I know still I can push very, very, very harder than what I'm doing currently. And I'm going to a lot of new things, a lot of new exciting things. The agency and the business is doing well. I am soon going to start a new offer in the agency that is going to turn out really well. And next, the content. I have a lot of ideas regarding content. I'm going to call my friends in my house to work with me, with my team, Team Ekagra Media. And that is going to be very exciting. And apart from that, I'm focusing on my sleep sleeping more than seven to eight hours which is amazing and eating well sleeping well working well and a big hack of productivity that i realize is that once you wake up in the morning the first thing you need to do is work and then the rest of the things of the day the most important things that you need to get done should pick that up in the morning that is a huge productivity hack that i found out and it's going well it's going great and amongst all these amazing things there is another great news that I'm going to start my own podcast and it's called as the freedom stories. The name of this podcast, the freedom stories is because I myself am attracting, chasing freedom in my life. I want to be financially, mentally, health wise. So friends wise, you know, you want that freedom to live a life that you want to. and at the same time, give back to the society. So that is what I want to do right now. So that is the name of the podcast, The Freedom Stories. I'm going to ask the guests why they are doing what they are doing. How, how did they figure out that what is exactly that they want in life and how did they decide that this is the thing that they want in their life and how did they commit to work hard towards that thing. That is what I, I'm curious to know about. I want to know the why behind everything through these guests and I'm going to be myself. A 20 year old student, engineering student. I am in my 4th year. Bhi nahi hua. I'm in my 3 too. And yes, parallelly improve all the other aspects of my life as well. And if you want to follow my journey, I'm making a series called the Freedom Series where I document my whole journey. You can follow through that. And one thing that I learned one more time throughout this year is that it's a quote actually. And I'm going to read this word by word to you. And it goes like, Anything that you don't have in your life is because you didn't fail enough. And every one of us have this fear of failure. And this quote teaches me how to overcome that. That means, it just means everything that I want in my life, I can achieve it. But I, I haven't failed enough. I haven't learned from my mistakes enough. And that is what gives me opportunity to go to do my own things in the world. And maybe in the process, I can help you guys as well. And yes, that was it for this video. This was more sort of raw, honest confession sort of video. Tell me your thoughts on this format of content and I'll help you in the comment section. You can DM me on Instagram. I'll surely help you. And yeah, that was the whole point of this video to just be raw and real with you guys and document my journey so far. And if you've watched so far, I'm very, very grateful for that. Just thank you for watching.